So Coda have been fairly busy recently and they've recently released Coda 3.0. In today's video, we're going to overview some of the new features that they've built and also give you an idea of a few things they're focusing on in terms of their marketplace and pack platform. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an update on what this new version includes. If you are interested in joining today's channel, you can, you can subscribe below and it'd be great to have you because we talk about a range of productivity software, but you can also check out our brand new project Bento. It's an app that will allow you to reduce the amount of tasks you have in your day, a very exciting project, and you can join the waitlist below. So Coda have released 3.0 and to be honest, Coda have been doing a lot of development over the last couple of years. Their team has been growing fairly rapidly. And one thing that they've really focused on in this version, although they've actually been focusing on it for a while, is their editor. So they state they've built or rebuilt the code editor. In 3.0, they said they spent over two years overhauling the core experience, providing more customization and publishing options. Now, as you can imagine, the code editor before was fairly good and there were elements in it that I really liked. For example, the index template was a really good function. But in this version, they've actually just done some catching up. For example, like the likes of side-by-side -side layouts, allowing you to essentially manipulate the page if, as if you were using a Notion page by allowing things to be moved around in a much more functional fashion. They've also introduced something called pages within tables. And yes, arguably this function is pages within databases like in Notion, however, I believe that they've done a great job in their viewing options. For example, when you open in brand new, what they're calling canvas columns, you can actually change the layout or the viewing option to a detail view, giving you much more context and much more, I think a lot of more relaxed layout and customization in terms of actually viewing each page, something that you'd get a lot less of inside of Notion. A lot of their focus is to help teams. And as you can imagine, one of the aspects of their experience is the integrations and the abilities you can do inside of Coda to be able to connect to other services. Well, they're opening up their pack platform. Basically before integrations were only allowed to be built by Coda team, but now they're extending that to building a pack for themselves. For example, you can build a pack for your company or anyone. And alongside of that, they're introducing something called the gallery, which is a marketplace with both free and paid templates are basically an abilities that you can implement inside of your code or account and they're also kicking off a series of investments a revenue share affiliate scheme and also a one million dollar maker fund for example to get uh, entrepreneurs off the ground building these and there's actually been a few demonstrations that they've put up in a video on their announcement page now they've also focused on a fair few modifications to their basic experience and one of those is that the fact that documents now have improved performance, loading at about 60% faster, which is, as many people know, and what they want to see is a lot faster experience. Now, they've also improved the custom templates, collapsible content in form of toggles, and also reactions. And also just on the performance side of stuff, I'm reading here that 60% faster image loading and five times faster filtering, which probably will help the pack side of stuff grow. They've also introduced forms for collecting attachments and also more formula-based builder for the power users of Coda. So such an interesting varied range of updates here. And it's something that the Coda team have been actually helping people develop as well. Also something to note is that they've got some branded lessons on their YouTube channel to help overviews those core new features. So folks, this was just a short overview of Coda 3.0. Hopefully soon I'll be able to do a video about Coda as a notion to give you a better idea of which one is best suited for you and your team. However, some great new updates from Coda and hopefully this overview gave you all you need to know. If you'd like to check out Bento, you can find it in the link in the description, a brand new project we're working on. We're super excited, but super nervous. So feel free to join the waitlist below. Thank you very much, folks. And I hope this was informative, helping you dive into Coda 3.0. Cheerio, folks.